So what does a load manifest really look like in practice? So we're going to take a look at a CRJ load manifest and then an MD80 manifest. The first thing you'll notice is at the top we have the specific items required by the dispatch release. We also have a place for the captain to sign indicating that he has received the dispatch release. And we also have information that's required to be on the load manifest such as the date, the airports it's going to, the flight number, the airport that it's departed from, and information on here. And then we have a data section for adding the number of people on board, the number of children on board, and this information, as well as a change section, if a change needs to be made to the load manifest. Passenger weights, let's talk about these. So an advisory circular is provided by the FAA that most airlines use to get what we call the average passenger weight. It's not practical to weigh all the passengers. Obviously, everybody weighs something different. But the FAA says that in the summertime, the average passenger weighs 190 pounds. And in the winter, the FAA says the average passenger weighs 195 pounds. I do not know if this is because of a coat that they're wearing or that everyone gains some weight at Christmas time or what it is. But the way that we remember this, um, the way that I like to remember this easily is the, just the phrase Mayday to Halloween. And that is the time of the year when you can use summertime weights. So basically May 1st to October 31st is when summer weights are in effect. But let's go through this. So here we have basically the passengers weighing 190 pounds. Breakdown of this 190 pounds. We have 169 pounds for the person, 5 pounds for the clothes, 10 pounds for a personal item, and 6 pounds for a carry-on. And yes, obviously, everyone's personal item and carry-on, maybe they don't actually weigh this. They probably weigh more. If you're like me, they weigh more. But the FAA has to have some sort of number. And so this is basically what they have come up with. This is the average weight method. So what the airline then does is we have a passenger weight table. What this one's doing is they have basically an index number, 7,600 pounds, 40 passengers. And they can use this on their load manifest form. For the uh, CRJ, they have the cabin divided into two different sections. One through seven is the forward and the aft is 8 through 13. <clears throat> then we have a flight attendant piece here. So the flight attendant has this type of passenger index. And essentially, we can look at this passenger index, and we can see we have the forward zone marked over here, and the number of people in the aft zone marked here. So wherever those two things intersect, if you have, say, for example, six passengers in the aft zone and ten passengers in the forward zone, where those two intersect, there we have a number. And then that index number is what essentially what's going to go on the load manifest. So here's another example. We have 40 passengers, 20 are in the forward section, we have 20 in the aft section, and we have a passenger index of negative 25.6. This number doesn't really mean anything but you'll see what we're going to do with it. So we have the, here's a different example, where they've got 50 adults on board, and they can write their index numbers over on this side. So we have the total number of people of 9,500, and we have an index weight of negative 39, 36.9 right here. So that's that index that was obtained by that index card. And now at this point, the crew is going to add up everything else we have on board, including the fuel, and an index number for the fuel, and then we end up getting a takeoff weight, so and a takeoff index. And then at that point, the crew can take that takeoff weight and the takeoff index and plot it on this part of the load manifest, which we haven't seen before. But, so here we have the weight and the index for the airplane, which is just for this one is basically a matter of adding up the items and then making sure that it is within our weight and balance envelope. Um, <clears throat> and then in the next video, I'll start and I'm going to make another one and we're going to talk about the MD-80 and that weight and balance program.